Hello, everyone. I thought I'd take a moment to give a short overview on this mini jazz bass from C and Z Audio. Firstly, I think the bass looks great. There are no noticeable flaws. I like the color of the body, the pick guard, and the vintage tint on the neck. As well, I like the headstock shape. Too often, I see an otherwise nice instrument ruined by an ugly headstock. The frets were rough, but relatively level, though I did have to hammer down a few of them but I have had to do that on most of my instruments at one point or another. There has been minimal fret sprout, which is something that has plagued every one of my instruments except the one with the quarter saw neck. The string height at the nut is also acceptable. And the nut itself, though plastic, doesn't look too bad. I haven't experienced any real string binding, even though the strings do not exit the nut perfectly straight. The neck itself feels great and has a good amount of thickness. It has a V shape in first position, and that tapers into a D shape as you move up the neck. I think it feels a little thicker than a standard Mexican Fender. The thin necks on the Mexican Fenders don't feel good to me. Of course, as I already demonstrated in the sound test video, which is linked in the video description, the bass sounds good. I have zero complaints as far as tone goes. Will it make you weep? No but in a mix it's great. It sounds like a short scale jazz bass to me. In fact, when the bridge pickup is isolated and the tone is rolled all the way off, I think this bass has a real classic jazz bass sound to it. However, like any $200 instrument, it does fall a little short in a few areas. I cannot get the pots clean. Even with plenty of contact cleaner spray, the pots are still scratchy. The tuners are not great, which was no surprise. They are functional, but a little sloppy. I'm not sure if Hipshot makes anything that could replace these. And I'm also not too keen on spending hundreds of dollars on a bass that was only $200 in the first place. The bass did need quite a lot of adjusting right out of the box. It was playable, but the neck needed some hefty cranks on the truss rod. And the string height was nearly double that of what I would consider industry standard. No big deal if you know how to do adjustments. If this was your first bass guitar, you'd need it set up by a professional. You might notice that the contouring is pretty minimal. All the edges are pretty square. Even the forearm contour hasn't had any rounding. I would guess these bases get very little hands-on work, and it is almost completely done by machine. To me, that's not a big deal at all. Overall, I'm very pleased with this bass, and as a lefty, there are so few options for short scales so this is a welcome addition to my collection. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll share whatever other information I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.